So today I'm going to be talking about writing. Sometimes every single writer, when they're constructing a story, building a script out and everything else, comes up on writer's block. One of my friends, scriptwriter friends, recently asked me, what do you do when that happens? What do you do when your brain is like firing on all cylinders, but you just can't get the middle of the story right? You know what happens in the beginning, what happens in the end. It happens so often. I recommend listening to Script Notes, a podcast about screenwriting and things that are interesting to screenwriters with <laughs> Craig Mason and John. On August. They talk about this a lot, but if you are just getting into film and you are at the amateur level and everything else, let me give you the quick notes summary. Sometimes you are going to be faced with the road, maybe even for the first time. That happens to all writers when they realize that what happens in their heads is not immediately going to magically appear on the page. And that realization can be kind of stark for some because you realize that, oh wait, I have to find the right words, I have to find the right description and I have to actually, you know, beyond just knowing how to format it, I have to be able to communicate what I've got up here, all of its pretty bells and whistles and amazing sunrises and whatever else, into a format that other people will read and see the same thing or almost the same thing as I see. Tricky. <laughs> no pressure. So my advice to him was, first off, that it happens to a lot of people. Filling in the middle of any story, once you've got the skeleton built out and you kind of know how it begins and kind of know how it ends and know at least a few things about the characters and stuff. Start there and build more. Build out the fatty parts. You've got your skeleton, that is to say your outline. Start putting things on top of it. And for now, you haven't even written word one. You haven't even written fade in because that's not about writing the script per se. It's about writing the story. Once you know the story, the rest of it is just format. It's just the language of the script. It's details, it's semantics. When it comes to filling in the middle of a story or finishing your script, as it were, I'm sorry to say there is no one size fits all answer. There's no magic pill. There's no spell you can cast. It's like asking somebody how they cook. Dude, I have no idea what's in your kitchen. I don't know what tools you have, what's in your fridge. If you have roommates that messed everything up for you, if you've got full run of the place, like if you've got time limits, I have nothing. I could give you a piece of buttered toast or I could give Give you a three course meal like there's a lot in between there so what you want to do is figure out what essential pieces of your story that you have written so far that you've built out so far or even that you've imagined so far do you know you want do you want a specific character sorry about the vent do you want a specific line of dialogue you know you're in love with is there a specific message you want to include in your story just start there and beyond that I guess the top five tips that I can give you for overcoming writer's block and finishing your script once and for all, whether it's a short script or a long script, is number one, outline, outline, outline. If you know you can't write, fade in, interior of house or whatever, night, Sally June's house. If you know you can't even get that far, you have to start with your outline, okay? If you don't know what the skeleton looks like, you're not going to get past that point and your story is not going to have any sort of cohesive shape. There are lots of B-movies out there. Check out Red Letter Media for breakdowns of that stuff for seeing scripts that fall flat on their face because they didn't follow that one simple rule. Outline. You have to have a bullet point list in your mind at least of what happens when. Try to stick to a three act structure just to start. Even with short story scripts, focus on your outline. Get it together. Number two, write your favorite parts first. You're going to hear this a lot from other screenwriters who have been in the business forever and ever and ever, but it's true. If you are passionate about your story, but you're having trouble finishing it, Pick something that you know you really like. Pick something that makes you passionate. Pick a scene that you really love or a character that you really want to introduce and start with that scene. What makes it pop? What makes you excited about telling this story, about writing this story, about using your precious time and energy to put this on the page in the first place? Who or what is that? Start there. Number three, if you get stuck, like truly, truly stuck, but you have something on the page, show it to somebody you trust. One, two people tops. You're not building out a focus group. You're not in a place where it's done and you're shopping it around or it's done and you're like, you know, starting to build a team to make your movie happen if you're in the independent circuit. You're not there yet. Don't show it to more than two people. Get their advice. See if you can see either a collaborator or somebody with a writer's brain like yours can say, hey, that actually doesn't click for this reason. Oh, I get it. Maybe I should go. There. Or, oh, that sounds really good. What else is going to happen? And now you're having a discussion. What else is going to happen? Well, I don't know. Well, what if it's this? Well, what if it's that? Well, have you thought about this? Well, what is this character doing? 
doing it before that or what are these two characters doing now it'll start the juices flowing it'll start the energy getting back into it it'll rev the engine for you if you just show it to somebody that you trust and have constructive conversation of what to do next number three if it doesn't feel right to you it won't feel right to the audience don't push something don't keep something that is broken and you know it's broken you don't want to admit it to yourself but you know you have to respect that feeling you have to be brave and you have to cut the fat out with a machete if you have to it's not even fat it's gangrene okay it's gonna poison the rest of your story if something feels off or if something doesn't connect or if something if you're writing a historical piece and you've put a car in the middle of like 17th century France or whatever it's gonna be obviously broken it's gonna take people out of the moment it's gonna take people out of the movie you can't break certain rules so if it feels wrong here trust that feeling look for what's making it happen and take it right out and you may feel like you're backtracking several steps on your journey suck it up take that feeling of backtracking and just look at what you have left see the future project with fresher eyes and number five if all else fails throw out the rule book and do it your way if you have to sit in the chair and you have to start with one teeny word on the page start there if you have to go take a walk do that if you have to go to a cafe do that if you need a trip do that if you want to sit in the bathtub with a dictaphone and talking into a device that nobody will <laughs> will understand do that whatever you need to do do you but you have to put your butt in the seat there's lots of writers most recently I saw an interview with Neil Gaiman where he said the only thing that separates a good writer from a professional writer is putting your butt in the chair like you need to show up every day you need to work even when you don't feel like working because otherwise you're not a writer you're not gonna write anything if you actually don't sit down and write eventually at some point right you need sometimes to just push through barrel through your writer's block and however you need to do that shake things up do it your way just throw out every other rule book all right i've tried this i've tried showing it to people i can't get this through but boom what is wrong with this story what is wrong with me all those feelings of complexity flush them shake things up do something different do it your way figure it out i hope that was helpful it was fun to think about because i've definitely had moments where i'm like oh my god what do i do next uh. so i understand the feeling i understand the feeling of writer block and filmmaking starts with the script so if you don't have a good story if you don't have a good script you're not gonna have a good movie that's just true so if you're a Attacking filmmaking from a writer's perspective. You're gonna be facing writer's block. Just know that and uh, be ready for it. And I hope you overcome your writer's block and I would love to hear stories about how you did. Post those in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all the things that you know happen on the YouTubes and I'll see you next time. Bye. Friendly Filmmaker is a Tuba Creations production. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out our merch links in the description. Bye for now.